Hello, people. This is JD Analyst. Uh, as you can see, I'm on. I'm actually on my way to the gym right now. Uh, I'm really trying to get back into the gym, uh, back on in a healthy lifestyle because I have gained lots and lots of pounds or whatever. And I actually looked at myself in the mirror. I'm just like, whoa. Uh, I need to make a change. Uh, I know I'm trying to make a change in other things. I need to make a change in my, my body and take care of that as well. Um, but anyway, I really wanted to come to you all today because I saw something on Facebook uh, when I got out of church. Let me pull the sun visor down. Give me a moment. Oh, all right. Hope y'all can see me. Can y'all see me? Please? Okay. All right. Basically, um, got out of church and I saw something. Can y'all see my face? All right. Sorry. Got out of church and I went. I looked at my Facebook feed and I saw something very intriguing uh, that caught my eye. Um, it was actually a picture of Allen Iverson and uh, another NBA basketball player. His name is Jamal Mashburn for some people who don't know him. He played for a few teams. He played for the Dallas Mavericks, uh, the Charlotte Hornets. That's where I remember him from. And basically did a financial comparison. Jamal Mashburn, he made, I'm going to say like $70 million dollars in his career as a basketball player or whatever but the thing is he he now has a bunch of outback state houses papa john's car dealerships basically a bunch of franchises i think he owns stocks and all this other stuff or whatever and he he's still eat, eating off the money he's made he's he basically made this money grow and then they they took a look at uh ella iverson Everybody knows he's very famous. Everybody knows who Al Iverson is. He actually just retired not too long ago, a few weeks ago, a month or so ago. And he made over $200 million in his career as a basketball player. And as you know, he had issues. He had an attitude problem. Uh, he dis disrespected authority. One of the best coaches he had, he couldn't even respect him, Larry Brown. I, I like Al Iverson as a player. I'm not down to him or whatever, but I'm just talking about what I saw. Uh, he... Um, Basically, he made all this money in his career, and what kept him out of the NBA was his bad attitude and his ego. And now he's retired from the NBA. He's divorced. Oh God, Lord, I pray for him right now. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm so against divorce of broken families. He got kids and stuff. But anyway, he's divorced, and now he's thirty million dollars in debt. Yes, thirty million dollars in debt, and. It just hurts me to, to see that, like, you made all this money in your career, but you really didn't do anything with the money. And it, I saw Jamal Mashburn, and he made this money grow. You know, I don't see many stories of people in the NBA who actually take the money and actually do something with them. You see them popping bottles and spending all their money because they never really had any money. They didn't really had any money uh, growing up. So, you know, all they, all they know is spend, 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 or whatever. And... It, it it brings me to ask you all this question, ask you this question. What are you doing with the money that you're earning? Are you spending it all? Or are you actually making it grow? Are you making the money work for you? If you're trying to be rich or you're trying to be financially independent, I like to say rich because people are scared of the word rich. If you're trying to be rich, you got to learn how to make, make your money work for you. You got to make your money grow. You got to start putting your money on the line and spend it on things that's going to make you more money like a business. Yes, I said it. You might have to, you have to go into business. People, rich people get money from businesses, not just from NBA contracts. Um, you got to invest, invest some money. Like you got to make this money move. That's why they call it currency because it moves on a current, and you got to keep it moving. And the thing is, when you spend the money, the money doesn't disappear. It goes into other people's hands, and then it goes to another person's hands, and it goes to another person's hands. It's a circle. It's a circle. You just got to catch it make it grow <laughs> make your money work for you but um i really hope this helps you out uh, take the money that you're getting help it grow make it grow leave an inheritance for your children's children get abundant so you can bless others i'm trying to be rich so i can bless others i'm just be honest yes i want to be rich and it's going to happen god has already released me to do it and it's going to happen but anyway i hope this enlightens you uh, I'm still driving to the gym and the sun is getting in my face or whatever but I hope this enlightens you and opens your eyes you need to be a, a great and better steward over your money 
over the money that is given to you. Instead of worrying about the weekend, how are you gonna make? How are you? What are you gonna do to help grow your money? What are you gonna do? I have a suggestion. I do. Um, you can start by clicking the link below. That's one suggestion. I think it's one of the best suggestions that I ever took in for somebody, and I'm asking, and I'm passing the same information on to you because I'm gonna help you make your money grow. I'm gonna help you uh, invest all your money to the maximum potential, along with investing in the business that I'm in or whatever. I'm I'm really gonna start people helping people save their money and manage their money. But anyway. I thank y'all for watching. Click the link below to see what it is. Uh, you won't be disappointed, especially for all you people who wants to come out the rat race. But this is Jay the Analyst, and I thank you all for watching. And I hope you get some value out this video. I know you got some value out this video because you're like, hey, this guy's a good guy. He knows what he's talking about. Not sound, trying to sound arrogant or anything. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Jay the Analyst, peace out.